Hey traders, welcome to this week's Sunday Ideas. Uh, getting into August here this week. So hopefully things will start to pick up a bit. Currently we're having roughly, I'd say two to three really good trading days a week. Hopefully we can get up to three or four on a regular basis starting sometime this month and moving into the into the fall season. Historically, some of the best trading. Uh, this week we don't have much for news. Uh, basically we have the CPI and what on uh, Thursday and the PPI on Friday. Those are the big ones. We have a couple of bank holidays, Japan on Thursday, as well as Canada on Monday. Other than those two things, we really, again, not a ton of news, obviously the standard stuff, crude oil inventories on Wednesday, the natural gas storage report. On Thursday, we have a 30-year bond auction going on on uh, Thursday as well for you uh, bond traders. So basically, again, the CPI, PPI, those are going to be the big ones this week. So probably wouldn't be surprised if we start out a little slow on Monday, but who knows? There are some things that we probably would be interested in here setting up. But I did see on uh, Friday and kind of this week, we did start to get some real good movement. So we had some uh, we had some good moves last week. So Moving into the week, we don't have any rollovers this week, so we're just going to get started right here on, uh, we'll start with gold. So gold moving down this week, uh, you can see one push, two push, and then now we're through the lows here. And we had this massive breakout attempt here to the downside where everyone jumped in short. Uh, on Friday, they dumped it, they pumped it, and then they got it right back to the level here. So coming into this week, what we're really wondering is if we're going to get a pullback, fill this space in here, and then a bounce up for a potential move on the other side of this LME, probably some sort of equal rotation up into this pocket. That would be my first bet. The alternative scenario is the downside scenario where we just absolutely fail up here somewhere and roll back down for more to the downside. Uh, my expectation, though, is the more likely scenario is to the upside early in the week. So again... Possible pullback into here, fill some of this in, bounce, recover, and then rotate up into this before the CPI on Thursday. So expectation is we might get back up here by then. That's a pretty big move. So we may or may not get it. Uh, you know, we're at 78, so 80. So that would be about a $35 move to get all the way up there by Thursday. It could happen, it could not happen, but I do think that this wash attempt here is still in play early in the week. Uh, <clears throat> moving on to the next market, we're going to hit the ES up here. You can see here on the ES, we did get <clears throat> kind of what we talked about on Friday, which was a potential big sell-off day on Friday. And you can see we got it. The market tried to rally on the news Friday and the payrolls news and then just completely tanked in the afternoon. So... Big sell off. It really worked these three levels all week. It was quite a what quite a mess here in this area um, for most of the week. Don't expect uh, much of this this week. I expect a sustained move either down or a complete recovery back up here. Um, overall, I think we're kind of at a period where if the market wants to sell off, now is the time. And you can see here this LME. We we've hit it now. We had the early buying. Didn't get much for it. So looking for kind of that zip through and then an equal rotation away, something. So getting us down back into these lows here at 4380-ish uh this week. So look for potential moves to the downside, continuation to the downside, I guess is what we would probably call it. Uh these levels we can get rid of at this point. And we're probably just working this a little bit more. You could get a larger wash here as well, where we just kind of rotate back up. But again, this is what we need to fill possibly <clears throat> before we come back down. If you don't get anything like that, uh, instantly we could get that back test right there and we could just roll, keep rolling right down. If we do get that, I would just look for continuation trades if we break any lows here uh, early in the week. Uh, last but not least, I think probably the most interesting market this week. So coming up is oil. Oops. <clears throat> excuse me so oil had a great trading week this week we got the wash early in the week down here we got the bounce and the wash back up here and then friday we ended up exactly where <clears throat> expectations were which is back up at the 83s 
Now we're actually looking to go break out above this yellow here. And the attempt is coming. I'm pretty sure it's likely to happen this week. Expectation for this is we're basically just looking for a pullback and a continuation. You may not even get it. It might just go through here on the open tonight. So uh, I would love a, a, a potential opportunity down around here. I think it's going to be a difficult entry if you can get it. But if the market does pull back, I think this is an opportunity to potentially get along for the move that is inevitably probably going through this yellow at about 83.40. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for. If we do fail to get through there and we get a beautifully clean kind of wash attempt here on this level, if it looks really good, you may want to consider it. Uh, it's questionable because of the, the just the higher highs here, higher high, higher high, higher high. Uh, but wouldn't be the first time we got something like that. Get rid of these real quick. Uh, however, for me, expectation is to the upside for oil. So uh, I'll be looking for continuations, as you can see on the, the 1440 here. We did get that close below and then right back above and then fall through the next day. So again, really, that's just a bullish, bullish and expectation is higher. The last market I think I want to look at here real quick is just uh, – actually, there's two. Nope, sorry, just one. Uh, actually, yep, no, nope, two. Uh, 6A, very similar setup to what we had last Sunday where we have a situation where we're getting an extended trend to the downside here, printing yellows. This one would also be a yellow when the market opens today. And so expectation is that this is going to continue to the downside and overall. And you can see here on the 60 – we're actually flirting with a wash here again. So opportunity potentially here for some sort of a failed wash trade to the downside may have already had it on Friday, but any pullback here would be interesting to try to find a way in for what could be again, very similar to what happened in the other market we're going to look at, which is our six E last week. Uh, we had that 1440 extended trend to the downside here, very similar to this. Uh, where we just continued right through. We had a setup for a wash here at that point, and I had talked about Sunday night in class about how we would absolutely be looking for a failed wash here instead of a, a wash continuation. And so I think the 6A is setting up the same kind of type of situation here where we expect this to come back down. Uh, now, will we just go from here? Maybe, possibly. And if that's the case, then you can just look for continuations. However, if we get back up into this area, I think you'd definitely be looking for a, a nice short there, possibly field wash type template. Uh, the 6E looking to rally now a little bit uh, after that nice sell-off. You can see we have closed above, so above our, our average here. So looking for actually potentially close back down below at some point. Uh, however, we're sitting right in front of this again. So two scenarios here, pull back down to close below here, and then a rally back out of here to complete the wash and get back up here to this okay structure that we can potentially be trading from at some point here. So that's kind of my move for the week uh, on the 6A or 6E. That'll probably take the entire week to do that with some help from the CPI and PPI. Uh, other than that, that's all about all we got for today. <clears throat> Shaping up to be a pretty interesting week. Again, it's starting to get into real trading season here again. So that's exciting. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And you can always reach out to us at info at swingtradingacademy.com. Best of luck this week. And I hope you had a wonderful weekend.